see how in the beginning we kind of delayed that note on the one we're not delaying it this time we're actually having a hit where it's supposed to hit traditionally Gang, gang, what's going on, my guys? Back at it like a crack addict. So, in this video, your drum bounce is going to become 50% better. I guarantee you that. If you watched my last one, it would have been 25. Last one plus this one, 50. Card right there. Shout out to my guys, say Quizzy for the loop, and let's go ahead and take a listen. Bouncy. Let's go and get a clap. All right, so the first major tip that I have for you guys when it comes to adding bounce to your beats, adding delays on your hi-hats. Now, usually people don't do that because they have a whole bunch of hi-hat rolls, but if you start off with something simple, the delays will add a huge difference. So I'm gonna start off with a very simple hi-hat pattern and then we're gonna add the delays on after. There we go. Now that we have the hall delay opened up, we're gonna go and just search through some presets and see what bounce we like best. Let's try something else. Let's try this one. Maybe if we take this down a little bit. There we go, that sounds a little better. But I want the hi-hats to kind of come through a little more. Right now I feel like they're being kind of EQ'd out. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. And then we can take the feedback down a little bit. And immediately you can tell that this has way more bounce. If I want to go ahead and just render this out real quick. Now we can go ahead and continue on that bounce with some perks. Let's go to rims. Let's go. So I kind of actually don't want to use this whole thing. I just want to use this piece right here. Down. We make it a little slower. EQ out the lows on that. Now it sounds like this. And that sounds perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of add like a counter perk with this one. There we go, that's perfect. Mm, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know what we could do. Let's actually create an entire new hi-hat pattern. And that way we can switch from one hi-hat pattern to the next one just to add some more. And so let's start off these hi-hats like the ones I did before. We're going to start off simple and then start to get more complicated after that. There we go. And then we can go ahead and change that to bar, burn to pattern. Maybe add a little gap in between here. Now we can go ahead and start making some rolls. Let's make this one into roll. We're going to alt U this. A little faster. And then we can actually cut these off. Or what we can do is let's go control Z and just put the uh, velocity down like this. I'm going to stretch it up so you can see it. Right click, drag all the way down. Then let's go ahead and add two notes down here. Actually, let's move this one down too. Turn this one into roll two. But the opposite way. Let's actually move this over here. Just so that this roll that kind of ramps up, ramps up into the clap. There we go. That should work. All right. One more thing I want to add before we get into the 808 is a very simple one on the open hat. I'm going to add that on the one right there and then we can add this one let's just cut out that second part right there boom now when it comes to the way jetson makes 808s he creates bounce with space in a way which is something that honestly set him apart from a lot of other producers when he came on so what i'm going to do is we're going to start off with this note right here because we're in a scale of f sharp and that's the root note 
and I'm going to leave a whole bunch of space just because there's a lot going on with the sample. We have a lot of bouncy percussions going on, so we don't have to do too much with the 808s. And let's go right here. Wrong note. Hold on. Is it right here? There we go. That's pretty cool. Now, instead of going back down on the one like people would traditionally do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a gap and actually delay that first 808 note and just move it to the right. So that's going to sound like this. Feel me? That makes a huge difference. The listener is not going to be expecting that. And also, it's still, you know, still has a bounce, still has a rhythm. I want to go back down. And let's move it over. Why does that sound right, but this doesn't? Whatever, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to trust my ear. Maybe we can add two more notes. See how in the beginning, we kind of delayed that note on the one. We're not delaying it this time. We're actually having a hit where it's supposed to hit traditionally. So not only do you catch the listener off guard in the first half of the loop, but you also catch them off guard on the second half because you're not doing the same thing as you did on the first one. So it's like subtle little timing changes like that make a huge, huge, huge difference. Kind of want to change these notes though. And then we can go bum, bum, bum. Boom, perfect. Now we can go down an octave and let's see what this sounds like. All right, so now that we have that pretty much laid out, another tip that I want to talk about is move your 808s up and down an octave. Don't be afraid to go up here. You feel me? Like it sounds different and it doesn't sound like what you normally used to hear but that's okay bro bro this guy jetson made a beat i'm gonna play this real quick because i don't want to get copyrighted and when i get copyrighted they're gonna take away the adsense and you know i need the bread you feel me unless you're gonna cop one of my kits with the link's gonna be down in the description everything's gonna be 50 percent off so if you want to do that to support your boy that would be kind of cool anyway let's get back to this it's literally an octave too high and it has one like low note it's literally boop boop Boop, boop, but it sounds fire, bro. So, let's go back up here. And then let's move this to maybe like a C. I actually want to move this even higher. Let's go. These are out of key. Move this down. Boom, perfect. So that's our 808 pattern right there. Boom. He doesn't usually use kicks, and I know a whole bunch of people is gonna say in the comments, but Jetson doesn't use kicks, bro. Jetson doesn't use kicks. I'm not him. I'm me. So I'm gonna do me. And you should do you. You feel me? So I'm gonna add kicks because I like kicks. And because this kick works really well with this 808, and you about to see, and it's about to sound fire. All right, bet. Let's go. Boost that all the way up. Okay, I missed it. It's actually over here. But let's go ahead and do this. <clears throat> and like I said in the previous video, I do not add kicks on high 808 notes. They don't mesh well. So I'm going to skip these two and go to the next one. Fire. This beat is perfect, the baby. If you're watching this, can y'all tag Jetson? Can y'all tag the baby in the comments? Let's do this, bro. If you haven't already liked, subscribe, and hit the notification, my guy, you're bugging. With that being said, here's the final beat. I'm out of here.